10 years' time with all these people's lungs, um, and, I'm, and I'm hopeful that it's not going to be as damaging as smoking was. But a young girl in our community, her name is Aurora Isla, she has made a short film called Grape, and she sent it to us, and it's really good. It's a 16-minute short film, hopeful that kids will see it and not want to do vaping. Yes, yeah, Sophia got suspended. Is anyone surprised, though? She was practically living in the toilet. She was always working class with that kid, um, Caden. Wait, didn't he get suspended too? I, I mean, like, it's like their parents don't even seem to care. They're kind of lucky, though. Why does everyone who gets addicted to vaping change so much? That's the Aurora's Vice who wrote yeah. it, directed it, and acted in it, so and good. she joins us on the show right now. Good morning, Aurora. Hello, it's so nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you too. You're a very impressive young lady. Uh, you contacted Thank us. Thank you so much. No, you contacted us via your socials. You've made a movie called Grape, and it's about the vaping epidemic. Can you tell us, well, first of all, um, how you can be so young and creating a movie, uh, but then also what is this movie about and how are you hoping to help people? Um, well, I made this film because I started high school this year and obviously I saw a little bit of vaping in primary school, but high school was the big shock and it was so different. And my friends who I think would never vape started vaping and got addicted. And so I just wanted to make a film highlighting that. We watched the film yesterday. It's a short film, a 17-minute mm. film, and it's so beautifully it's made. Outstanding. I, I cried at the end of it. It's got a very shocking but real ending. Thank you so much. I really tried to make it as realistic as, as possible, and all the situations in the movie are happening to kids, and although you might not see it on the news, it's happening to friends of mine, people at school, and just teenagers all around the world. Some people don't understand the addiction side of vaping. Tell us about that because um, from my understanding, uh, once you're in and you're going for a while, it's very hard to stop. Yeah, you can get addicted to vaping in a day and all vapes that supposedly are nicotine-free, they've all been tested and they all have nicotine and that's how they keep you hooked and that's why they're so addicting, especially young people. So you don't know what it's causing your young brains because it is nicotine and there's so much more nicotine than you think are in these one puffs and two puffs. Well, and the lungs and the, the different chemicals that are being sucked into your lungs. It's really frightening for parents, Aurora. So I feel like this movie is going to go well. You called it grape because that's a popular flavour. Is that right? Yeah, it is um, it is a popular flavour. And my last film was called Melonhead. And so I was like, I'll just keep running with the theme. And I felt like grape was a good fitting name for it. So okay. that's what I named it. So Gailey's just looked at me and gone, other film? Aurora, you need to tell everyone why you're such a young filmmaker. She's already made two films. Wow. Well, I started acting when I was eight because I've always been very dramatic. And, <laughs> and, recent, and then recently um, I haven't been getting many jobs and I know that my acting friends haven't been getting many jobs. And I wanted to be the person making the opportunity instead of waiting around for my dream to come. And so now I'm just making my dream projects. And honestly, you just need to get out there and meet people that will support you. And I wouldn't have been able to do this by myself. And there's a wonderful team and crew that I have that I'd love to keep working with my other short films and stuff. Oh, my God. We, Aurora is going to be one of those names where you don't even do the surname. I know. And all of a sudden, oh, it's directed by Aurora. Yeah, You've got yeah. to go see this film. This is the start of something <laughs> big. It is. Who, who are your... Um, Thank you so much. Who are your idols when it comes to filmmaking? Who do you want to be like? Greta Gerwig or something I love, like that? Yeah, I love Greta Gerwig. Um, I love Little Women. I really love Quentin Tarantino, Wes Anderson and Steven Spielberg and so many other directors. I love Baz Luhrmann as well. Okay, well, wouldn't it be great if you could go and work with him, um, considering he lives yeah. in the same town? So how do we see this, this movie Grape and what has been the response to it? Um, depending on how many people we get, you may be, we may be organising another screening. But if we don't do that, then you can donate in the next week and you will get your private link to the film. Yeah, because it costs you a lot of money to make this film. Yeah. So where do we, yeah. we go to your, do you want to go to your Instagram? Where do you want to direct people to see the film? I, I think it would be good for um, schools to be showing this film, to be honest. That's what I've really been trying to do. And I've actually got, our schools have come out to me and said, hey, I'd love to show this at schools and stuff. So I was like, yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. And so I just want to go around with that. But my Instagram is at the real Aurora Isla and the Insta has the GoFundMe link and my email. It's really very good. Congratulations, Dylan, and you keep going. You're a very, very talented young woman. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. There's only one cash contest on the Gold Coast. That's